I mean, it's great to have you, and I want to get right to cut right to the chase here because uh, tell me about the earnings per share reductions you possibly see coming down the pike. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, again, it, it, the work we had done was encompassing essentially looking at if tax rates go back to what they were in 2016, what would the impact be? And, you know, there are some companies, and it's predominantly ones that have a heavy percent of profits that come from the U.S., uh, you could see an EPS impact of down 20, 25% sort of EPS impact. A company like Apple, which actually generates a good amount of their profits in the U.S. still, you could see EPS reduction north of 10% if tax rates go back to the way they were four years ago. So it's possible that Apple's earnings could go down 10% under a, a Biden win if, if he rolls back uh, the corporate tax cuts? Exactly. Yes. Now, again, I think the devil will be, will be in the details, how they do it, how quickly they do it, uh, the degree or the color of the blue wave that you get. Uh, but yes, I mean, if you go back to what it was four years ago, it's about a 10 percent impact to Apple. And as you said, maybe up to 25 percent in some instances. But I mean, here's my question. Investors aren't going to blame Apple if their earnings drop 10 <laughs> percent. You know, it's not Apple's fault. They're a lot more concerned with earnings uh, that show the company is, you know, poorly executing or not investing properly or losing market share, you name it. So, you know, it might affect the stock price, but is it just kind of something that investors take in stride, right? I mean, what kind of impact do you think it would have? Is this kind of a one-time sell-off in the share price and a re-rate? Uh, again, we'd have to wait for this plan to actually come. This wouldn't necessarily be on election, uh, you know, when we find out the outcome of the election, would it? No, you're absolutely right. I think it also goes down to where, where is this in the priority list of things that want to get accomplished, right? Uh, my gut is, and, you know, it, it's hard to go back to four years ago and say, you all, all these stocks went up when you had the tax returns happen, because um, the other element you had four years ago is all these companies, like an Apple, like a Cisco, were able to repatriate all this money back to the U.S. and use them for different purposes. Uh, so certainly, I don't think you'll have the same you'll have the same degree of negative impact the way you had the positive impact last time. Uh, from an Apple, from a you know big tech perspective, I think the two other things that may matter more is what happens with big tech regulation if there is a blue wave, and right. what happens with China relationships as you go forward. I think those things could have a more structural impact to these companies versus just tax rate. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.